a connection ball and a counterbalance or one or the other or both at the same time doesn't matter right so i talk a lot about the uses of counterbalance and how i believe that they provide that front side stability which then kind of syncs us up a lot better you've heard the term equal opposite with what the glove arm does the throwing arm does and vice versa i think if we overload the glove arm and the glove side we get more generally compacted okay we get compacted here simplified here we're going to get simplified back here but just to provide more feedback, like I said, utilizing the connection ball, um, maintaining that, that flexion that, that I talked about earlier with the club. This kind of, again, just another thing that provides that good feedback. Throwing hand, um, get a ball. The goal is not to move robotic, right? So like I said, you can do it with or without a counterbalance. I use like a two or a three pound. Older guys are probably gonna need a heavier one, younger guys, lighter one, but Remember, we're just trying to trying to move efficiently, be an athlete, not be robotic, but still train those motor control patterns, right? So you overload the front side, you give the feedback of kind of staying in flexion um, after hand separation to allow your hands to stay more connected to the center of mass, and then you just kind of throw.